Several events are scheduled this weekend to honor 30 military members killed in action one year ago. Their helicopter was shot down in Afghanistan. Ten of your side's Melanie Woodrow spoke with a former SEAL today. Melanie? Nicole Scott Taylor is currently in school in Boston. One year ago, he was in Maine when the news broke, instantly realizing that he knew many of those special warfare operators. He hopped on a plane to be with the families. 30 war fighters and one military dog killed in service one year ago. Former SEAL Scott Taylor remembers well. I just knew that uh, looking at the helicopter and the amount of people and where it was, I just knew it was our guys. All were supporting Operation Enduring Freedom when enemies shot down their helicopter in Afghanistan. 22 of the men were SEALs. It was a, obviously a huge tragedy with some really experienced operators. It's just a huge loss, a very tight group. Taylor was especially close with Special Warfare Operator Chief Petty Officer Kevin Houston. One of those guys that you could talk to him for about 30 seconds and, and think that you're his best friend and, and want to want him in your life for the rest of your life. On this one year anniversary, Taylor is thinking of those lost and those still in harm's way. It's a great reminder that freedom isn't free. As people gather locally and nationally to remember and raise money for the victims' families, Taylor has one request. Keep these guys in, in your prayers um, while they're over there overseas and, and fighting for our freedoms and, and uh, just continue to remember and, and make sure that, that their, their memories are, are never lost. CrossFit gyms around the nation will be hosting a 31 Heroes event tomorrow. Since the crash, more than 400 CrossFit gyms have hosted events, raising approximately $300,000. Look for the complete coverage on Wavy News 10 this weekend. And for a list of all of this weekend's events, just go to wavy.com. We have special coverage, including all of our previous reports on the crash and a photo gallery of the fallen servicemen on the military page.